I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and today we're going to take a look at how to use ChatGPT to process a PDF. So what we're going to do is open up the ChatGPT interface. You can see I've got it open here. Make sure we're in GPT-4. And what we're going to select here is actually not the default, but we're going to go to the Advanced Data Analysis section. And when we do that, you can see it's going to show you can actually upload a file. And this is the PDF that we're going to go ahead and process. It's some information about BART, the train system here in the Bay Area. So let's go back over here. Now I've downloaded that PDF. I've got it on my computer. And all I'm going to do is go ahead and just drag it over and drop it here. And you can see it's going to upload that. And then I can say something like, uh, write a brief summary of this PDF. And uh, let's let ChatGPT do its thing. It's going to use the um, data analysis tool to extract the contents of that PDF. And then it'll go ahead and write that summary. So here we go. It's doing its thing. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, going and writing a brief summary. And we can ask questions and we can go into more detailed information. But that's the fundamental step. You just go to data, advanced data analysis, upload the PDF, and then you can ask questions and things about it. Now, I find that this does reasonably well, but especially for more complex PDFs where there's pictures and you know tables and stuff, it can make it a little bit harder for it to extract the data. Or, you know, this one does have text in it, but if there's no uh, machine-readable text in the PDF, that can make that tool a little bit harder to use too. So this is a, a kind of a, another solution, maybe a little bit of a hack that I've found that works especially on a single-page PDF or short PDF. And what we're going to do is just take a screenshot of that PDF. Um, I'm going to do this in Windows with my Windows key and S. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a screenshot here um, of some of that data. Maybe I'll do a specific section, actually. Let's do the ridership facts section here. Um, and then I'm going to go back into ChatGPT. And instead of doing advanced data analysis, I'm actually going to select a different option. So for this, I'm going to go back to just the defaults of GPT-4. And you can see I have the option to attach an image there. So let's go ahead and take that screenshot that I just captured of that document, and in particular, the screenshot of that table, which you can see here. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that in to ChatGPT. And here I can say, like, you know, summarize the information in this PDF screenshot. And here it's actually going to, instead of just extracting the text from the PDF and trying to make sense of it, it's actually going to read the information in here. It's going to understand the layout and how things are structured, um, not just extract that raw text. And that usually can give a better result. You can see it's really getting into the, the nitty gritty of what's in here um, and turning it into some text that I can use. Um, maybe I could put the whole thing in there too. Like, let's stop this and let's go ahead and take that bigger screenshot of uh, facts. Go ahead and upload that and say, um, you know, like write a blog post based on the data in this PDF screenshot. Let's let it do its thing. We'll come back and we'll see uh, what kind of narrative it creates out of that. So checking back in on it, it took about two minutes to generate this. And uh, wow, there's a ton of information. It's very narrative. Uh, 2022 is not just another year for BART. It marks its 50th anniversary. It goes into all these like things that have changed, their plan for financial stability. It even like bolds interesting statistics in here. And it's yeah very narrative. It flows more like a blog post. So um, again, you know, you can use that simple process of the data analysis tool to extract info from a PDF. It's a fairly simple PDF. It can do pretty well on that. But I like to screenshot it, put that screenshot into um, the basic GPT-4 as an image and it understands then like the layout and all of the details and even we'll get like pictures and things in there to help it understand what the PDF is really about and I find that that ultimately yields a better result. If you want some more tips on how to use ChatGPT especially as a content creator because you know this could go up on a blog and I think do really well um, I'll drop a newsletter link in the bottom and thanks for tuning in.